Hey everyone, it's Rolls. Welcome to episode 3 of the Metal Gear Solid 3 playthrough. That's a lot of 3's I just said. Anyway, yeah, proper camo. I didn't see the easy gun there. Maybe I don't have it. Interesting. It just automatically boosts your camo index by your like your camo index is always set to 80 which is pretty dang high for moving around but Probably the quickest way to get through there. And then I think we're already at the, uh, yeah, we're already at the one bridge area. I adjusted a little bit after the last part that I just recorded, and Yuna now has a comfortable little spot in the bed. Her bad that I'm using to lean on while record laying on the ground to record this video. Because I'm relaxing. Here's a little interesting way to interact with the environment. Shoot that beehive. Basically chase everyone out. Cause he comes running. Yes, eat the hornet's nest. It's apparently really good for you. You see, as he runs down the bridge, he like scares off the other guards too. They're like, oh, bees, oh no. Alright, there is an area under that bridge there, but... I don't think there's anything worthwhile in this opening mission for it. Maybe there was. I know there's camo in Operation Snake Eater there. Again, in that game... I have to get the Suchinoko, because then you get, like, the last camo, which gets you that trophy. And then you can save the playthroughs differently where you eat it, and you get the Markor trophy. And then there's a trophy you get by finishing your game with it. You need to, like, re-catch it somewhere. There's a, So there's a lot of trophies for this game based on that one thing. And for the life of me, I just can't catch it in the area that it's supposed to be at. Or one of them that its appearance rate is the highest in. No alert phase, huh? Okay. Uh, no way. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov. I want you to tell him something from me. And that is, sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. There's not too much here other than your standard dispatch with guards to move closer to the target thing. It's been a staple of like these stealth games for forever. Now who
Alright, that, that'll do. Knocking him out will just give me just enough time to start the cutscene. There's another alert that should never have happened. It was careless. I've actually been sitting on these LPs for a little while. Um, before starting to do this Monday, Metal Gear Solid Monday thing. I like having two repeating series like this. I do have to get to work on doing stuff in the middle of the week. I, lately I've been using all the Hitman live streaming stuff to kind of compensate for extra content. Because a fair number, I mean... It's super modest, but I don't promote it at all. But there are always a few people that always drop in on those streams, so... If people are interested in them, I'll keep doing them. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Never heard of him. He's a member of the army's extremist faction. The man who seeks to I remember first seeing so much video clips in this game and thinking it was awesome. And I still think it's pretty cool. Well, that one's done. That beep was number two, just finishing, rendering. Well, close it. I'll check it out later. Thank you. I fixed my laptop up a little bit. Uh, I cleaned it and then I uninstalled some shit because it was really struggling for a while. Like, it still has some problems I can't fix, but I was able to like play D and D last night with Casey and some some of my other friends while also like actually using discord on there and surfing the web and internet was playing on my my phone was not my phone my tv was uh had some streaming video on it so the connections cleaned up a little bit too but mainly the computer is a lot faster again And yet, I was just recording the last bits of another Ocarina of Time playthrough, because if I sit on something and I get too bored, I'll just have an excuse to play the game again. Um, well, uh, at the end, the ending credits, they, the game, they were playing like in a slow-mo, not super slow-mo, but I could notice it on uh, the ending credits, like a... Oh, I'd say 0.75% speed. Anyway. We're here to get you out, Sokolov. Sure hope no hijinks are gonna occur while we're trying to escape. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I managed to get past them. I see.
What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a week. It's never probably just something in this series. I always assume the craziness is going on. drink I just had it was superb. I don't know what he's trying to pull. <laughs> if all the different angle shots weren't giving it away, there's going to be an ambush here. Low shots angled up at the people in the center of the frame like some Akira Kurosawa shit. I mean, they do look cool. I'm not saying they're bad. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. The man. We meet at last. You. You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. What's a crew soldier doing here? Well, don't knock it down, cat. There you go. Oh! Fucking tell him! Josh Keaton? So I love Revolver Ocelot as a character, and Young Ocelot is the shit. So I might just be quiet when he's on, on the screen a lot, just to let you know. Ruthless. I can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the group. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. And he is such in control of the situation right here. It's crazy. Die. 
And that's a repeating theme for his life, too. Where he's really fucking good. Ocelot is. It's just... His tendency for showmanship or over-the-topism can often result in him making a mistake. Meanwhile, Big Boss is showing why he's truly the best soldier ever by fucking running through these Gru operatives. You're pretty good. And that started that arc series in the game where Ocelot always says that shit. Now let me call and brag about what I did. by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuban. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. 